Hey y'all, welcome back. We are on the road again, leaving Red Bay, Alabama and headed back to Texas. Coming for you. <laughs> Come on with us. Bye bye downtown RV park in Red Bay. We really enjoyed the stay. Great place, great folks. So we had a fantastic time in Red Bay, Alabama. The people are so nice. Uh, yeah, thanks to Vicki, Linda, and Bill at the RV park for making our stay so great. Uh, we can't wait to come back and see you guys again. And uh, to everybody else in Red Bay who uh, did everything you could to make a wonderful mile. stay. Right on Alabama 24. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you to everybody at Tiffin as well. Yep, Tiffin, Bay Diesel, the tours was all fantastic. We will definitely be back. Jackson, Mississippi. Neat town. We went by one of the coolest looking Costco's I think I've ever seen. Sam's. Huh? It's a Sam's. Like I said, it was a Sam's, <laughs> not a Costco. Right, this is a little bit strange. I don't think we've ever pulled into a rest stop on a Saturday afternoon and had it totally empty. Totally empty, but we're going to stop. <laughs> and here in Mississippi, I've noticed they have uh, dumps at their rest areas. Yeah, that's a nice. Stop. That's pretty cool. It's nice to have the dump station availability. Yep. That's cool. Thanks, Mississippi. I mean, people are pulling in with the cars, so maybe the restrooms are open here. But the good thing about an RV is we have our own on board. So we just, well, you know, it's good to stop and stretch our legs. And 
got our own facility, so we're good to go. There we are. Welcome to Louisiana. Well, we're in our third state today. We started in Alabama, then went to Mississippi, and now we're in Louisiana. It's been a no sun today at all. The sun hasn't been out, but it hasn't rained one drop. So it's been a pretty easy driving day, and it's probably in the 60s out there. That's why we got jackets on. Haven't had to run the generator, so that's great. You know, our new freezer is back there unplugged because it, you know, keeps the temperature cold enough. So we'll, we'll just plug it in when we get to where we're at. We don't worry about that, and uh, it's going good. Not much traffic right now with a lot of people hunkering down, obviously. See how many people are at the Welcome Center? Yeah. Pretty sparse at the Louisiana Welcome Center. Wow. Yep, so not even many at the Welcome Center. I. It may even be closed. Um, I know a lot of them are closing and there aren't many cars out on the road. So uh, it makes it for easy traveling right now. Um, obviously, we're going right now to get in, get to Texas, and and get into a situation where we can kind of hunker down for a little while. So let's go. So. Looking well, closer at the map, it looks like there are actually two different ways to get to this KOA from from uh, where we were up on the highway. I I don't know how the other one could have been accurate because we were going completely in the wrong direction <laughs> on the opposite side of the freeway. So I don't even see how that would have worked. Uh, well, you know, that's why you got to just pay attention when you're getting close to where you are because there might be signs that offer a better route than what your GPS suggests. Yep. Let's see where it takes us. <laughs> Welcome to Baton Rouge Coa. <laughs> <laughs> By the GPS, it's not, it's KOA. Baton Rouge KOA. And yes, we made it. All yes. right, you ready? You ready for us to check in, Star? <laughs> Well, that was a pretty good stay overnight here. Yeah, uh, nice campground. We've actually stayed here before. Uh, when we went to the Peach Bowl in downtown Atlanta to watch University of Houston and Florida State play a few years back, yeah. we stopped on the way back and equally good uh, stop over last night. Yeah. So they are the, open for business right now. Yeah, at the Baton Rouge KOA. Yeah. And it was nice, they even have a neat putt-putt course. But by the time we got in, it was time to cook dinner or we wanted to get dinner cooked and stuff, so we didn't play, but maybe next time. Maybe next time. So <laughs> we're hitting the road again. <laughs> we're on our way 
we should, we'll be in Texas today. So, Texas, here we come. Here we come. <laughs> what do you think, Star? <laughs> She's ready. <laughs> Well, we're back in Texas and we were out for a total of two weeks. Well, two weeks and one day, technically. And uh, so yeah, it's always good to be back in the Lone Star State. Of course, right as we hit the state line, we hit uh, the first rain of the day. It's been gray all day, but we hadn't had any rain. Oh, I of course, we got these lovely roads where I feel like I'm on a carnival ride. Let me show you what's ahead. A little construction. Woo! I feel like I'm on a roller coaster right now. Wow! It's crazy. Come on, Texas. Got to do better than this. Let's get these roads fixed. Looks like they're working on it. actually a Texas safety rest area. Yeah, which, these are pretty new. Yeah, they've been adding these over the last few years, and they're really nice, typically. Most, all the bathrooms we've stopped at for these are nice, and they are open yeah. right now. Uh, usually they'll have information about the area. That part is not open right now. Uh, but yeah, they, but very clean. It had soap in the yes. bathroom. I mean, it was very nice. Picnic areas, and in this case, I don't know if you can see, but covered picnic areas. There's somebody using that one right there. And in this case, there's a bunch of boardwalks tucked into the trees with picnic areas. Super nice. Yeah. All right, let's go on. Here we go. picnic areas. Really neat. Yeah, very nice. Just one other thing that'd be nice for Tex these these parts for Texas to add in the future is a dump station. That'd make it perfect. They didn't have a dump station. In one quarter mile, take the ramp on the left to I-10 West. We made it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> back in Texas. Yep, and we are lucky to have our friends Greg and Carolyn who have 65 beautiful acres where we've stayed before. If you've seen uh, our mooch docking video, I'll link that in the description. Yeah. But we're gonna hunker down with them and kind of wait this thing out and see how it goes. Yeah, so stick with us. Next week, we'll actually kind of show you what our new normal is here as we hunker down and ride this thing out. <laughs> Until next time, y'all, we'll see you on Wednesday. 
safe travels. And happy camping. Bye. Bye.